And uh, they're off in the Betfred uh, Tommy Whittle handicap chase worth uh, 50,000. And the white faced Dr. Kananga is leading towards the first of 19 fences to uh, on card the winner two years ago. The dark green and white over on the far side, the near side, left of picture, Eleanor Bob. Now, crossed the winning line three times in this race as Dr. Kananga leads Burroughs Diamond, one of three mares taking part here. Another one, Eleanor. Bob on the outside under Lucy Turner in third. On card is in fourth. The grey Bill Baxter in fifth place early ahead of Cooper's Cross and then Famous Bridge. Credo is held up at the back of the field in company with Conkwell Legend as they've jumped one of the 19 fences and on the journey towards the first of five in the back straight. And it is Dr. Kananga having his first run of the season and leading by two lengths to Burroughs Diamond in second place. Uh, on card and Charlie Hammond is then on the inside of Eleanor Bob. They are three and four ahead of the Topham Chase winner, Bill Baxter in fifth place. James Bowen having already ridden two winners on this afternoon's card as they now jump the second and Conkwell Legend blundered uh, dreadfully and unseated. Conkwell Legend gone at the second. And the uh, horse is uh, chasing after the uh, remaining eight as they now come to another plain fence, which Dr. Kananga led over. And it is Dr. Kananga in company with Eleanor Bob, Burroughs Diamond in third, and then on card, Credo Bill Baxter. And already oh, reaching for that one on the outside, Ele Eleanor Bob. And Lucy Turner shot forward momentarily, but keeping the partnership intact, the back marker is uh, Cooper's Cross. They come towards the next. And Eleanor Bob almost rose first at that one on the outside in the uh, black and pink spotted jacket. Burroughs Diamond, Dr. Kananga is on the inside. They've got the open ditch to take now, number six. The uh, final one in the back straight this time. On card took that very nicely indeed in fourth place ahead of uh, Bill Baxter, famous bridge who won a race here on Betfair Chase Day last month in which Credo was second, and they're currently third last and second last at the moment, with last season's Skybet Chase winner and uh, Scottish national runner-up Cooper's Cross bringing up the rear at present. I can tell you that uh, Richie McLernan is, is A-OK. -okay. He's just walking back across the middle of the course as I speak. So turning into the home straight, coming towards the end of circuit number one in the Betfred Tommy Whittle handicap chase. On the near side is Eleanor Bob. On the far side with the lead is Dr. Kananga. In between them is Burroughs Diamond and uh, Nick Schofield. On card again, jumping well just uh, in behind the leaders. Bill Baxter in fifth and then Famous Bridge and Sean Quinlan. Credo, she's on the stand side. The blue cross belts on a white jacket and Cooper's Cross is last of all. This is an open ditch, which the leader gave plenty of daylight, Dr. Kananga. And they now come towards the ninth fence. Simply two out in a further circuit. The loose Conquell legend is still chasing happily enough after the others. So coming to the next, Dr. Kananga leading there to Burroughs Diamond. On card the far side, the near side is Eleanor Bob. Lucy Turner chasing more big race glory after Schombard two weeks ago in the Beecher. Still in midfield is Bill Baxter. Famous bridge towards the back with Cooper's Cross. Dr. Kananga meets what'll be the last next time around very nicely. Just going through it was Burroughs Diamond. The remaining eight are separated by only a few lengths here. As they go around once more, they've jumped ten. Nine more to take. Dr. Kananga is leading under Alan Johns for Ben Clark by a length to Burroughs Diamond in second. Eleanor Bob is in third on the outside of On Card. And then Famous Bridge in the famous Hemmings Racing Colours. Bill Baxter is next. The top weight and Cooper's Cross and Credo are the back two. So the eight of them would be separated by seven or eight lengths as Dr. Kananga continues to cut out the running here as they straighten up on the far side of the course. Burroughs Diamond in second place. On Card, the winner in 2021. Still close up, but they are well grouped here. Eleanor Bob, the loose Conquell legend, is now coming up amongst the action. It is very much on terms with the leaders, but jumped that very well. All of them managed to clear the first fence 
in the back, running towards another play one. Dr. Kananga with the loose horse posing a, a little bit of a problem, but uh, runs out, so out of harm's way at the moment. Dr. Kananga burrows diamond. Eleanor Bob, Bill Baxter on card the inside. Famous Bridge is not far away. Credo towards the back with Cooper's Cross. As they now run to the middle fence in the back, Dr. Kananga burrows diamond. A good jump by the mayor at that. Burrows diamond to Dr. Kananga, Eleanor Bob, Famous Bridge, Credo trying to improve. Bill Baxter on card on the inside and Cooper's Cross and Sam Coulter just at the back. Burrows Diamond pop that very nicely. Here comes the loose horse again as they run towards the final ditch. And it is Burrows Diamond, Dr. Kananga, who's made much of the running on the inside. Just about on terms, coming into this. Burrows Diamond asks for a big jump, a mistake from Dr. Kananga. They are followed by Famous Bridge, Sean Quinlan looking to secure an inside run as Burrows Diamond now just starts to open up a little bit, has gone on by two lengths. Famous Bridge on the inside of the long-time leader, Dr. Kananga. Credo has made progress into fourth. Then Bill Baxter on card, uh, weakening right out of contention. Eleanor Bob and uh, Cooper's Cross. But it's Burroughs Diamond and Nick Schofield for Sue Smith leading the way here. Four left to jump and running towards it with a three-length lead over Famous Bridge in second. Then Dr. Kananga, Credo under pressure, then Bill Baxter and on card. This is the fourth last fence. The loose Conquell legend still leading them and it's Burroughs Diamond galloping on pretty strongly here with a four or five length lead. Famous Bridge under pressure. His old rival Credo is about to challenge for second. Bill Baxter running a nice race. Then Dr. Kananga. Burroughs Diamond at the last ditch. Three out over. Two clear of Credo. Famous Bridge couldn't get on terms with the leader. Can Credo do any better? Bill Baxter is back in fourth. They've got two left to jump here. It's Burroughs Diamond with the advantage coming into it. Burroughs Diamond just shortens there. Credo and Famous Bridge are still close enough Enough, if good enough, they're well clear of Bill Baxter heading down towards the 19th and final fence. Burroughs Diamond still leads. Famous Bridge plugging on Credo. Here's the last Burroughs Diamond. Famous Bridge really heaved himself over that on the far side. In with every chance, the near side Burroughs Diamond, the far side Famous Bridge. Credo is held back in third. Famous Bridge on the far side. Burroughs Diamond the near side. And Famous Bridge is grinding out victory here in the Tommy Whittle. Famous Bridge and their Hemmings Racing Colours wins for Nicky Richards and Sean Quinlan. Burroughs Diamond second, Credo third. Well clear of Bill Baxter in fourth. The best friend Tommy Whittle has been won by Famous Bridge, trained by Nicky Richards. A young horse, he's, he's, he's going the right way. Well done. Yeah, he's, he's a grand ass. Uh, as I just said, he's ass. He hasn't got a great deal of experience over fences and hopefully he's improving every time he turns up. So... Uh, He's grand, he's just a nice arse, very, very genuine. Yeah. And uh, if he gets in a bit of a fight, he, he enjoys that as well. Yeah, he's right. He just seems to want to roll his sleeves up turning in, doesn't he? Oh, he's ready for it, yeah. yeah. Sue yeah. Smith's mare, Burroughs Diamond, she really made it the race too. Oh, she probably looked like she quickened up off the bend a little bit and uh, you know, thought for a second it was going to take a little bit of catching, but Sean said from the second last he thought he was yeah. going to win all right. Um, any thoughts where he might go? Not really, probably have a little, well, he'll have a little bit of a break now, uh, you know, he's won two nice races now and uh, hope he'll be in a nice race somewhere. Peter Marsh, a Grimthorpe? Yeah, you know, they're, they're possible races. Yeah. I wouldn't like to come back here on that ground again, mm. you know. Uh, the difference between soft and heavy? It's fairly, mm. fairly testing ground yeah. that, you know, so... Uh, you don't think he's out and out crying for that? Well, he acts in it, yeah. you know, you've seen that there, but uh, just to be fair to him, he's, he's a young ass mm. and hopefully he's on the way up mm. and uh, we want to continue that. Mm. I'd say for you to win this race for the first time in the colours, the, the late Hemmings, Hemmings race, and they've been such supporters for you for a long, long time. Your father won this race with the Grey Monk with one man with Twin Oaks, so to, to, for you to get on your name on the score sheet, I'd say that means plenty. Ah, it's great really, you know, uh, this lad's got a little bit a uh, little bit to climb to match them, them horses, but this horse is going the right way, and he's a lovely horse, uh, he's a gr lovely simple horse at home, and you know, hopefully we'll keep climbing the ladder and see where we end up. We're following you for the presentation, very well done. Thank you very much.
and famous British jockey Sean Quinley's built up a really good rapport with this horse. Well done. Yeah, look, Niall, he's been a good horse for me. You know, that's two big prizes now. But um, he had to he had to dig deep today. I thought he'd improve for a little bit of softer ground the last day, but he just got stuck in that out there. It's a bit right. tacky and holding, but. Um, down to the last, he came on my hands, he'd yeah. loads left and look, he, he only does enough when he gets there. He is a proper sort of Nicky Richards horse that's coming up the ranks nicely. That's it, look, Nicky, um, he takes his time with his horses, you know, he lets them develop himself and um, yeah, he started off um, being a nice hurdler and then obviously won a couple of novice chases. And um, look, you could see him down the line further, it's probably, I think they're on about maybe the Peter Marsh and then it could be a Scottish national on a bit of slow ground, you know, yeah. this season, but next season, we see, like, he's only, I think that's his fifth or sixth run over fences. Grand National might be a bit... Yeah, the year's, yeah, the yeah. season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are he's getting the hang of jumping as well. He's getting better. Yeah, um, he, was, he was good the last day. Today, he just caught me by surprise. He was going a little bit left today. Yeah. So I switched him down the inside and um, um, kept him a bit straight. But he, he's a horse that, like, he just races behind the bridle. And um, you just have to keep, keep squeezing him, squeezing him. And he'll sort himself out. And... Um, but he's got loads of scope as you saw down to the last. A busy boxing day, so you're whether it be Houston, Texas and the Road Americ? Yeah, uh, six rides there and I look um, Houston, Texas he's um Nicky's done great since he's got him. Look, if the Royal Merit was around Carlisle, I'd yeah. really fancy him because he's I think he's five and five around there. But um, look, as long as the ground is uh, wet there, mm -hmm. uh, he should run really well with ten stone on his back. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, well done. Brilliant, thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.